Having a good energy, I think, is really important because there are so many talented people, but if you're like a bad vibe, no one cares. Hey there, I'm Elisa Vanderheim, and this is The High Notes. Today I'll be talking about working with Kelsey Ballerini on her album, Rolling Up the Welcome Mat. Yeah, so Kelsey and I started working together, writing for her album, Subject to Change, in 2021. We met at a writing camp, and then we just hit it off. I ended up having like eight songs on that record, but there was a different set of producers on that, so I wasn't as intimately involved on that. And then, um, she went through her divorce and she recruited me for her next album, her EP. We were like really close friends and so it just kind of made sense that I would be there to help her shepherd that new project. Working with Kelsey is the most fun I've ever had working with someone. She is always cracking jokes. Um, she doesn't overthink anything. She knows what she wants to say. She's kind of like the dream artist to work with. I think we definitely naturally have a lightness when we work because we just have so much fun together. There were some moments that were like tough. I know on Just Married, that's also a solo ride and it's a very heavy song. Just tough, you know, but a beautifully written song. Honestly, one of my, my favorites on the record. But then, you know, How Do I Do This was just so, we, we were like, had so much fun writing that. That was like one of my favorite moments of the project. There was tears, there was all the emotions throughout the process for sure. I think our favorite song that we worked on is Mountain With A View. That was a solo write on Kelsey. She wrote that by herself on her guitar in her house and sent me like a voice memo of it. And this one just, I was like on the floor. Like I was like, oh my God, we have to do this. We just sat down on the keyboard and kind of reimagined it from the bones up, kind of pieced it together each step at a time because it was such a, a beautiful song and we really wanted to honor it. I mean, it was so personal. That's the whole point of music is to reach the listener at whatever they're going through. They don't have to be going through it, but if they can feel what you're feeling, the only way for them to feel that is for you to be as real as possible. I would get like texts and I'm, I know she did too, like I'm not even going through a divorce, but like, why am I crying? When done right, it really strikes a nerve with people. I think it's really special that she's championed me as a creative and she's trusted me. It's, it's meant, meant a lot. And I think it's inspired other women to know that they can do the same thing. I think anyone, should work with women songwriters. But um, I do understand why women are more gravitated toward women because we're safe, we understand one another. We've always been fighting to get just as much attention as men. And I am seeing a change uh, with more women starting to produce and you know get behind the board. Um, there's a whole movement, honestly, going on. Women that are doing it already and lifting other women up and bringing them with them is the best thing they can do, so. That's why I'm thankful to Kelsey and everyone else who's helped me and given me a chance in this industry. I would say to all the women going for it, to absolutely go for it and to not take no for an answer. And just because it hasn't been done before, it doesn't mean it's not possible. Finding out that we were nominated for CMA and Grammy Country Album of the Year was so rewarding. It was such a risk to put out this record. I mean, sonically it was different. Obviously subject wise, very sensitive. So it was really gratifying to know that it paid off, the risk paid off. Um, and I remember when we found out that we were nominated for the Grammy, we were all at Kelsey's. We had mimosas in the morning because that's when they would announce it. And we were just like clenching our fists like, oh my gosh. And then it, we just freaked out. <laughs> this album was my first CMA and Grammy nomination. I think it was definitely uh, validating and confidence boosting. It does kind of light a fire under your butt a little bit, but that's a good thing, I think. So what's next for me, we're doing the next Kelsey record right now, which is really fun. I've been writing with Brothers Osborne, they're amazing. It's great, it's bubbling, Nashville, it's going crazy. The creativity seems to be blossoming, and I'm really, really honored to be a part of that. Thanks to the CMA for having me, and make sure to like and subscribe for more. My favorite song to write, it depends on the day. I love a down the middle country song, but I also love something a little left, but I, I do love a down the middle country song, actually, now that you ask.